So with Paradigm getting a OG style, I just want to provide some context on what was going on back in 2019. Of course, people can say what they want about OG and their opinions, but I feel like people leave out some massive context. For me, Paradigm would be the same as maybe the Ariana Grande styles and, and stuff like that, and then even the Eminem style, because I feel like people contextually forget when the skin came out. So you, you had the Paradigm skin, and then you had the Welcome emote and Go Home emote. Paradigm came out October the 10th, 2019, and it was in the shop to a random day in 2019, October 13th. So uh, one, one of the other things is, they didn't know it was limited time, literally said it was limited time. FTC a few years later went, 500 million pounds. Yeah, here's a fine. You, you can't keep doing this stuff. Okay, we won't be doing that again. I feel like everyone forgets about this massive context of why these skins came out and why they're limited. And when I say they can't do that anymore, I don't mean release event skins or skins like Paradigm. I mean, when they plaster a limited time, have a countdown time uh, before the shop resets, never know if a skin's leaving. That's just that's not a Paradigm situation or an, an issue with Paradigm. That's the issue with the whole shop. And that's why the FTC find them and then they remove the timer, remove these stuff. It wasn't anything to do with Disneyfication. It was to do with the fact they needed to be more transparent with their item shop. Uh, future reference, they would be more exclusive items and they would be done differently. You would probably have to like the Ariana Grande and the Eminem one that you would have probably had to have gone. They obviously didn't have it set up like that. Also, it will probably end up working like the OG variant that just came out would have probably been that exclusive and Paradigm would have probably been available. But obviously, things later or earlier, depending on how you look at it, was just done differently. But, I mean, nothing happened October 13th, 2019. I feel like you can't talk about exclusivity and stuff and leave out the one point why the skin was exclusive. It was to celebrate one of the biggest Dan Live events that Fortnite has ever seen. You can disagree with him, but please provide the full context of why Paradigm and the other two emotes are exclusive. I always thought, okay, we have a live event, we have an exclusive item that goes with that live event, and then once you go into some live event, sometimes you get another thing. I thought this was a really cool thing they did. Like, if you turned up to the event, or Missed the event because the game crashed, in my opinion. I'm not salty. <laughs> if you at least try to go there, or you were at least on the game, and Fortnite, if you didn't get on the game, would probably most likely, uh, which I think they did with other skins such as Ariana Grande and uh, Eminem. I, I, I don't see that as a problem. It's it, like people were, are, oh, it's a random exclusive. But the Paradigm skin came out during one of the biggest live events that Fortnite has ever had. Yeah, it wasn't quite an event exclusive as it probably would have been known in the future. But at the time, it just came out around that time. So when people say, oh, I wasn't on the game at that time, did you, did you miss one of the biggest live events? Did you not check the item shop before you saw the live event? And people who just wasn't around there, like, then that would be a bigger argument as to live event exclusive or event exclusives. Then that would be the bigger issue, no? Not the actual Paradigm skin. I get people's dislike for exclusivity. I get why you have this weird connection with FOMO and you can't, well, I don't know, control impulses. I, I have no idea. I'm only surmising on that opinion, but at the same time, it's quite simply a skin on the screen. It doesn't matter both ways. It's just pixels. Like, why do you care it's exclusive? Just buy another skin. Or if it ever came back, why would I care? I don't really care, but when you address an argument and you leave out points like it came out during one of the biggest live events in Fortnite history, the connotation is that it's associated with that live event because Paradigm is a member of the Seven, clearly stated it was a member of the Seven. The Seven at the time were important, I still think they will be important, important again at some point. And even when Paradigm was important, they brought out a completely different Paradigm skin. So, which I remember at the time people going, well, look, look what I got now. Look, look, look all the Paradigm OGs. It's own. <laughs> I thought you didn't care about pixels on the screen, but you seem to be getting very hot on the collar. You know, get across to me. Well, I've got a Paradigm skin now, which at the same time would now be exclusive because it was a season pass about Paradigm. So on one hand, that's bad. On the other hand, now it's good. I have no idea. The other thing people would say is, oh, that Paradigm skin, the original one, ugly. Uh, look at this one. Look at this one. But yes, if you don't want Paradigm skin to be exclusive, then you've got to look at event exclusives. Which I don't mind. I always think it's kind of cool. You're around at that time. You should get a skin or a random cosmetic. And then the argument, oh, just bring back Paradigm. 
anyway now because there is an OG exclusive. Yeah, whatever, that's that's fine. And then people say, oh, why don't you just bring back battle passes and each battle pass skin or cosmetic can have an exclusive. Are you okay? Are, are you are you okay? That's crazy. Oh yeah, devs, just work on the 20,000 cosmetics that this game has and each get an exclusive. I thought it was pixels on the screen. It doesn't matter. Like, <laughs> you seem to really want these OG styles to the fact that you will give people months if not years of hard, hard work trying to recolor things so we can have exclusivity skins, I guess, or cosmetics from old battle passes. That is a ludicrous. I've heard multiple people say that. It is a bad, bad, bad idea. Terrible idea. Please do not bring that one back to the table. Leave that off the table. Don't give every other cosmetic an OG style to bring back old battle passes. That is not the solution to this apparent problem. Yeah, and talk about the random issue, because some people have brought this up saying, well, Paladin came out at random time. It came out weird. I mean, it was just before the end event, and that's why the skin came out, because of the seven and their connotation and their connection with that event. And people say, oh, well, we've got Paladin now, and it's a better, well-designed skin. The graphics are better or something. I'm like, I actually really enjoyed this season, but I'm just going with what the community said and what the community feels mostly. Chapter 3, Season 4 is not a well-beloved season, even though Evo Chrome weapons, you could upgrade them, and the, uh, the Chrome mobility, really cool season, but never mind, I guess. But that's a random time to be on the game. Before one of the biggest live events, I thought, wow, a skin of the seven. Wow, that's not a random time to be on the game when it was at its official peak. I know some people may have stopped playing the game because of the mechs, even though towards the end of the season, they were heavily nerfed, and even towards the end, end more the end of the season they will just just get destroyed on impact so it's kind of crazy it's funny to hear those arguments and people don't think further than their nose sometimes it's like and to be fair maybe i shouldn't really be making a correlation between the original paradigm skin and obviously brie larson's paradigm skin yes they did come out at different times but when it did come out i remember hearing a lot of people in my chat in my comments saying well who cares about your paradigm skin now now people care about it again because it's got an og variant as it happens with every other OG variant, like, oh cool, we got this skin now. My FOMO, my FOMO has decreased because I've now got the Paradigm skin all the way back from Season X and they bring out an OG style and that FOMO comes up again. That is not Fortnite's problem. That is purely yours. So if you wanna watch another video of mine, you can watch this one um, or, or the other one, I suppose. It will really help me out. You know, YouTube loves people binging content apparently on the same channel, so make sure to watch another. But guys, uh, comment down below what you think. Uh, leave a like, subscribe on the road to 20k. Uh, until next time, it has been your boy, Mr. J.O. White. Until next time, bye-bye.